Well, what's going on, Cardinal Nation? Man, another frustrating game. We're losing this one tonight, four to one, to the San Diego Padres in the first of three, and uh, another game where we had a low hit total. We had only four hits in this game, and they were both by Paul Goldschmidt and Jordan Walker. As they both had two hits, which counted for all four of our hits, and stranded a lot of runners on base again, and we were facing a very good pitcher. Padres starter Blake Snell went seven scoreless innings, lowers his major league best ERA to 2.6, and gave up only two hits. Struck out nine, but walked five batters. I've mentioned that I believe he's walked the most batters in baseball. So, uh, we had a chance to go up to get a run in the bottom of the first. Back-to-back -back walks on Neil and Goldschmidt, but then Nolan Arnauto would run into a double play. And uh, then in the bottom of the fourth, Base hit by Goldschmidt and then walks by Contreras and Gorman to load the bases for Andrew Kisner. But he would strike out for the second out and then Jordan Walker would strike out on three pitches. So we had a chance to take the lead and could not capitalize. So that was that was disappointing. So then in the top of the sixth, uh back to back hits. Uh for San Diego, and then the Padres to take a one nothing lead in the top of the sixth. RBA single by former Cardinal Matt Carpenter. That's right, Matt Carpenter with San Diego has been mainly a bench player and mainly has served as a DH for a lot of the season. And so that would give Padres a one nothing lead. Carpenter came back to St. Louis last year when he was with the Yankees, and then he went to San Diego in the offseason. And yeah, so that would give the Padres a one another team lead. And Adam Wainwright in this game, unfortunately he took the loss, but a solid outing. Uh, and he would go six innings, giving up just a run on eight hits, only struck out one batter and walked three on 93 pitches, so a solid outing. Nadine Wainwright's about to be 42 years old, uh, I believe on the 30th of August, which is two days from now. So, and, um, yeah, so, uh, top to seven, San Diego would take a 2 nothing lead. Garrett Cooper, RBI single, that would make it a 2 0 game off of Andre Pallante. Uh, so, and then a 1 2 3 eighth inning from right hander Jacob Barnes. And then the bottom of the eighth, uh, facing the new pitcher, Tyler O'Neill would strike out, and then Paul Boachman with a solo home run to put us on the board and make it a 2 to 1 game. Uh, for Goldie, his 22nd home run and 69th RBI. So that makes a two to one game, and then Barnes would walk Juan Soto to lead off the ninth, and then base hit by Fernando Tatis and a hit by pitch to load the bases for Garrett Cooper, and he would drive in two. And so three RBIs for Garrett Cooper to make it a four to one Padres lead, and then facing uh all-star closer and former Brewers closer Josh Hader, and he would strike out Gorman and Kisner. Jordan Walker would have a base hit, but then Mason Wynn would ground out on the eighth pitch of the at-bat, so a great at-bat, but we would come up short, so disappointing, and yeah, just for whatever reason, our bats have been very quiet. They were very quiet over the weekend against the Phillies, and now, you know, had the bases loaded in the fourth, but 
kind of capitalized. So, really hope it can bounce back Tuesday to at least avoid avoid getting uh, uh, swept at least. So, and Zach Thompson gets a start against Seth Lugo for Padres. Thompson, who has got five innings in his last two starts, has looked pretty solid and making a case for possibly a starting spot in uh, 2024. So, anyway, till Tuesday, Comics are saying go cards.